Hi, Facebook live stream viewers. We are so excited you're here today because we've got an amazing show. Um, with me in studio right here is David Schmidt, who is the CEO of LifeWave. And we're going to be talking today about their latest creation, which is a patch that is chemical free that reverses aging. Yes, that's what I said. And I'm happy to say I've been using it for a bit of time, and I'm just hopeful that when we do this again in a month, <laughs> I'll just keep looking better and better and better. <laughs> thank you, David. So, David, please say hi to everybody. Yeah, Paula, thank you for having me today. I'm really looking forward to talking about this, about uh, our new product, X39, how to activate your stem cells, and how we're seeing uh, signs that the body is uh, reversing at least part of the aging process. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Woohoo! <laughs> Men and women out there, pay attention. David will be back in just a few minutes, and we will get into talking about the X39. And remember, Facebook viewers, you're backstage at the recording of a real radio show here. So you'll see us chatting between segments and you know, deciding where we're going to go with the conversation and that sort of thing. This is not going to be a perfectly polished production. You're with us here in creation. All right. Thank you for being here, and we are about to get started. So I'm going to have David just sort of roll out of the shot for a moment. <laughs> thank you. Okay. So let me get myself ready, and we will start this show. Welcome to Change It Up Radio with Paula Shaw. I am so excited today. We have an amazing show. We have a show that I am calling Age Reversal, Miracle, Myth, or Reality. And we're going to find out a little later in the show that it's actually a reality. Yahoo, right? <laughs> okay, so welcome to Change It Up Radio. We are a show that's all about helping people deal with change. Because change is a constant in our lives, whether we like it or not. And my job here at this show, I feel, is to bring information to you to help make those changes smoother and more productive. Another thing we really like to do on this show is spotlight change makers people who are creating change in the world and making it a better place. And that is exactly who is with me today. We are going to be talking to David Schmidt, and I'm telling you we've got some exciting things to talk about. So don't go anywhere. Be sure you stay tuned for this whole show. I also want to say if you want to learn more about Change It Up Radio, if you want to hear past shows, because we have had some amazing guests on this show, you can get that information, you can hear those shows, and you can also get information about being a guest or a sponsor of this show on changeitupradio.com. And if you want to learn more about me, I'm Paula Shaw, as most of you know, I'm an author, I'm a life transitions therapist, and a keynote speaker. And I, my work differs from that of a lot of people who are in similar professions because I very, very strongly and in, in every instance that it's possible, like to use energy psychology or mind-body tools. One of the things we're going to be talking about today with David Schmidt is energy and how we can use it to do so many things. I mean, that's the basis of the technology he's created. And in energy psychology, we also know that sometimes just talking isn't enough. Sometimes we need to give people tools and processes that help them intervene on the energy system and the subconscious mind. And that tends to enable them to create change or neutralize problematic feelings or behaviors much more rapidly. So if you want to learn more about my work, you can go to paulashaw.com. All righty. The other thing I want to talk about here in our first segment is my new book, Saying the Right Thing When You Don't Know What to Say. I 
have shared with you before that this book came out of 27 years of having people show up in my office and tell me the sad story that when they were really going through a loss or some kind of pain, nobody called, nobody showed up. And I know darn well it isn't because there weren't people in their lives that loved them. It's because when we don't know what to say and what to do, and we're terrified that if we say the wrong thing that we might cause more harm, there just seem to be a million reasons why we can't get around to making that call or why we can't make that visit. But when you know the right things to say and do, that all becomes a very different scenario. And I want to share with you today a story that was shared with me by one of the first people who bought the book and then called me to tell me this story. She's a very busy woman. She's a yacht broker, actually. And she said, rarely do I sit down and read a book in my office in the middle of the day. But your book arrived that day from Amazon. And she said, so because it's small, I thought, well, it's doable. Maybe I can just read a little bit. And she told me she ended up reading the whole thing in one sitting. And as she was driving home that night, she was thinking about the principles that I talk about in the book and how important they are actually in every conversation not just conversations with people who are hurting. And she said, it was all so fresh in my mind, and I was just really mulling over all the things that you had said in the book. And I pulled into my driveway, and my neighbor was wandering around looking very distraught. She said, I got out of the car, and I said to her, are you okay? And she looked at me and said, my daughter just died. Now, normally, she said, I would have thought, oh, my God, what do I do? But she said, I had just read your book. I knew exactly what to do, and I did all those things, and it went so well that I had to call you and tell you that. And I have to say that with tears in my eyes, I said to her, if nothing else comes from writing this book, that story is enough. And that's why I wanted to share it with you all today, because that's the kind of impact we can have on people when we just take a, take a chance, show up, do that thing that your heart is urging you to do. And let me just clarify those five components, five steps that I feel are very important if we're going to have a healing conversation or a helpful conversation or even if it's just a difficult conversation and you want to navigate it in the best possible way. First, set the right intention. Know in your mind what you want the outcome of that conversation to be. So are you there to, for clarity? Are you there for comfort, for soothing? Whatever it is, know that and declare that first. Second, be present. Your body and your mind have to be in the same place. If you're thinking about the grocery list or the presentation you have to do tomorrow, the other person will sense it, and they won't be able to open up. They won't be able to speak comfortably. Third, have the right mindset of comforting, soothing. Please don't show up thinking you can fix somebody. Because trust me, you can't. And when somebody's hurting, they're not up for being fixed. They really need to be heard. They need to be comforted. They need to know somebody's there. They need to feel human connection. The next step, the fourth step, listen. This is the most important step, I think, because people worry about, well, what will I say? I, I don't know. I don't know the right thing to say. But if you're present and you're listening, Trust me, the magic will happen. The right words will come to you. And you don't, and isn't it good news to know you don't have to know some profound thing to say? All you really need to do is be present and listen. And the final step when it's appropriate for you to speak, and we really want the other person to speak more than those of us who are the listeners and helpers, but when it's appropriate, please. Speak from your heart, not your head. 
People in pain need your humanity, not your database. So please remember that. You don't have to be profound. You don't have to be this font of wisdom knowing exactly the right thing to do. You just need to show up as your human self and listen and be present and connect. And trust me, amazing things will happen. And this, this is true all year round. But especially at this time of year, it's very hard for people who are hurting or whose lives are in upheaval because it looks like the whole world is happy except them. And we all know that isn't true, but it's, it's a very isolating feeling when you're sad, when you, don't, when you don't feel that anybody else is in the same boat. And the truth is, many people can be in the same boat. But I'll share with you, I had a little experience of this myself. Last Friday, my son moved to L.A. And I know it's, it's only two hours from San Diego. But for 10 years, he's been my go-to guy. You know, he's been five minutes away. And if I needed a man to help with something, there he was. And, and he's my son. And if he needed me or he needed a home-cooked meal, there I was. And all of a sudden, boom, just like that, you know, he's showing up with a packed car, took me out for a lovely lunch, and then he's hugging me and saying goodbye. And I have to tell you, I surprised myself. And this is something that happens often when we're dealing with loss. We don't know how hard we're going to take it. Because my daughter lives in L.A. I mean, I go there anyway. I talk to her all the time. I know it's not like somebody's moving to Siberia. But I started sobbing. I mean, gut sobbing. And I pretty much spent the rest of the day crying. Didn't make a lot of sense. But remember, grief and sadness don't necessarily make sense. That's why you don't want to try to fix somebody when they're hurting. That's why you don't want to try and make sense out of it. It's not a head deal, guys. It's a heart deal. And that's where we want to come from. We want to come from the heart. And the people who helped me most just said to me, you cry, girl. You just let it out. You don't have to stop. And, and I didn't. I didn't I, until I could. The next day, I cried a little less, and I worked on myself, and I meditated on it, and I took a beautiful walk in nature. And by the third day, I was a whole lot better. But having those people who just basically said, whatever you're feeling is OK. Whatever you're doing is OK. This is your sad moment. This is your life. That is what helped me the most. So I hope in sharing that, that that helps you also know how to be there for other people who may need you. Because trust me, there's a lot of them out there. Yeah, it's tough. It, well, yeah, you you had that happen with children too, leaving, going away to school, or moving, or whatever. It happened with me when uh, my kids lived in Florida, and I was still living here in California. Uh. I would fly to see them, and after drop, we'd have a great weekend, and then after dropping them off, I would cry all the way back to the hotel. Oh, that makes me feel so air, much better. Airport. <laughs> it was. Uh, I remember how great I felt, and then how heart wrenching it felt to yes. have to say goodbye, even though you knew you were going to see them. Right. Again, it was. So I well, that makes me feel so much better. And, and, you know, and I've been through it with my daughter mm -hmm. many times. She moved to New York right away after graduation from college. Then she, um, and she had been in San Francisco for a while for college. Then she moved to New Orleans and then finally came back here. And now she's in L.A. Okay. But, uh, so you think you kind of, oh, I've been there. You know, it's like I tell people <laughs> all the time, they think if they've already experienced a death, or divorce or something, that the next one should be easier. But each experience is unique, right? Absolutely. And yeah. you just don't know how you're you don't going know. to. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> it sneaks up on you. Yeah, yeah and that's okay. Oh, all right, David, let me grab your bio. All right, and all my little notes. I have all my notes from the webinar an, yesterday. That's an old bio now, but that'll work. Oh, well, because I'm mostly talking about you from my, my own knowing. Oh, experience. there we go. Then that'll <laughs> be okay. This is just the technical stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go.
Welcome back to Change It Up Radio with Paula Shaw. And as promised, in studio with me right now is David Schmidt, the CEO of LifeWave. And let me tell you folks, welcome, David. Thank you, Paula. Good to be here. Oh, thank you so much for being here. All right. So this amazing man is the inventor of LifeWave technology and the CEO of LifeWave. And, you know, I want to talk about a little bit about David from my perspective. But first, let me also tell you that this technology was born out of three years of intense research by David into the concept of being able to naturally increase energy and stamina through elevation of fat burning, utilizing wireless communication to the body. And you were doing all of this actually for the military, weren't you? Uh, That's right. I was doing that through government contractors, and uh, this was a project for the Navy. Yes. So, But what I want to say about this man, because I have known him for over a year now, and I am a member of the LifeWave community. I use these products and have for over a year, and I adore them and adore him for having created them. Thank you. But this man is the real deal. He has become my friend, and I have watched him in trainings and watched him dealing with people in the public, and I have turned to him when I had crises with my own clients. I've turned to him for help, and he is always there. And he is generous and and amazingly creative, and on top of that, I truly do believe he's the smartest man on the planet. (laughs) (laughs) So, David. Okay, Paul. Well, <laughs> thank you. Great to be here. So what I think would be a great place for us to begin is because some people um, in our listening audience don't know LifeWave, and they don't know the LifeWave technology. So could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So LifeWave is based on phototherapy, uh, a way to induce different chemical changes in the body with light. And this is something actually everyone is familiar with. Um, it's we go out in the sun and sunlight will cause our body to produce vitamin D or or we can get a tan, of course, by going in the sun. Mm -hmm. Um, Now even uh, we can go and see that there are products that the FDA has approved using phototherapy that cause desirable effects. So we can use lamps, different types of infrared lamps for getting pain relief. Uh, We can even use this for surgery-free facelifts, for promoting collagen production. Really? All with light. So this is something that used to be on the fringe that's now very much in modern science and very, very well understood. So what I've done is I've taken uh, science of phototherapy and I've changed it up a little bit Mm -hmm. to where it's very convenient (coughs) for anybody to use. So instead of having to use a lamp or a laser, these are patches that you wear that reflect very specific wavelengths of light that cause very specific chemical changes in the body. And some of the things that we can do are pretty extraordinary. Yes, they are. So I know because I have used and actually have on my body at this moment, (laughs) there's a patch called Ice Wave. And will you tell us what that does, David? So Ice Wave was our first product for pain relief. We Mm -hmm. came out with that in uh, 2005, 2006. And it is a two-patch system. And uh, keep it simple, you apply it in the area of pain. So if you have low back pain, you can apply it there. Mm -hmm. If you have sciatic nerve pain, same kind of thing. Mm Mm-hmm. And one of the reasons that I got interested in it was my mother had chronic shoulder pain, you remember, because you mm-hmm. helped her. And um, so she's been using the product and <coughs> had great, great luck, but is even right. more excited about the thing we're going to talk about <laughs> soon. <laughs> yep, me too. And there are patches that enhance our energy, mm-hmm. the energy patches. That's right. Um, uh, they'll elevate fat burning, uh, which is our preferred form of fuel and declines with age. So not only do you get more energy, but you um, get an increase in your metabolic rate. And some people experience weight loss with it. Oh, wow. Yeah. And an anti-aging effect. Uh-huh. Yeah. So <laughs> bonus, bonus, bonus. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about the glucosamine patch. Uh, glutathione. I'm sorry. Glutathione. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Glu- glucosamine would be a good one. So he gave me a good idea. Okay, good. Yeah. Next. So glutathione <laughs> is, uh, it's the body's master antioxidant. And Actually, in the U.S., it's surprising how many people have never heard of glutathione. I know. Uh, It's not that quite way outside the U.S. More people have heard about it. But it's ubiquitous. It's about everywhere in the human body. So glutathione protects our hearing. 
It protects our eyesight. Uh, it helps regenerate the liver and, pr- and detoxify the liver. Uh, it helps remove heavy metals from the body. It mm-hmm. enhances the function of the immune system. Uh, there are tens of thousands of clinical studies showing the benefits of glutathione. And so uh, when you take an oral supplement, it takes a very long time to elevate your glutathione levels. Uh, but with the patch, you can do it very rapidly. Even within the first day, mm-hmm. you can be detoxifying uh, with this patch because it elevates glutathione so rapidly. Wow. And that's just really incredible. And so that's adding to the overall health of the body in kind of a, a general way, right? In that's right. Ways. Yeah, <clears throat> that's right. Uh, studies have more or less shown that how long you live is proportional to your body's levels of glutathione. So people that live mm-hmm. to over 100 have elevated levels of glutathione. That could be a genetic predisposition. That could be because of their diet or a combination of things. Ah, so there's a magic key right there. Very important. That's certainly one of them. And what about carnosine? Now, carnosine is one of the most valuable nutrients that people are not using, that they should be using. So carnosine is what would be called a dipeptide. Uh, It's composed of two amino acids, and it functions like an antioxidant. Uh, Carnosine would be found naturally in the muscle, in the heart, and in the brain. And when you supplement with carnosine, it has a number of very significant benefits. Uh, First, Mm -hmm. what we found with our product is that it significantly improves strength and stamina, even the very first week that you use it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Carnosine will protect the heart. And uh, we did a clinical study where we showed people over the age of 60 could have an incredible improvement in their short-term, long-term memory uh, and overall cognitive function when using carnosine. Wow. Yeah. And, you know, we forgot to tell everybody, but I'm going to open one of these sleeves. This is, oops, this is the one we will reveal (laughs) shortly. (laughs) But I wanted to share, especially, unfortunately, our our radio listeners will only hear about this, Mm -hmm. but the Facebook live stream people can see this is the container of the technology that David is talking about. It looks almost like a round Band-Aid. Mm-hmm. And it's about that same size and is very, very easy to use. Back peels off and it goes on your body. So I think that it's really important, for one thing, that this technology is so easy for anybody to use, right? So even if it was an aging person whose hands weren't working well or whatever, this isn't complicated. I mean, sometimes it's hard even to get a, a medicine bottle open. I don't right. know how <laughs> older people do it. But this is very, very simple. All right. So we also, we didn't talk about Eon. Mm -hmm. Now, I was at uh, a workshop that Therese Santos did a couple of weeks ago. Oh, yeah, our friend Therese. And she used, our dear friend Therese, she used the patch to, she was doing a muscle testing test with somebody and used Eon. Well, had them, let me give the story to our listeners. (laughs) She uh, tested a person using neuromuscular feedback. And, and his arm was strong. She put pressure on it, and the arm was strong. Then she had him think about something that was upsetting and, again, put pressure on his arm, and it went totally weak. Then, and I do this in my work all the time with energy psychology, but it never occurred to me to do this, but I'm doing it now. Then she put an eon patch on the back of his neck, still had him think about the upsetting thought, but he was strong. In an instant. Right. So tell us about Eon. <laughs> what, what's in that magic little bag? So Eon, uh, interesting story that uh, we don't really have time to get into all the specifics of it. But mm-hmm. basically, it's a very powerful anti-aging patch that helps to manage inflammation in the body. Ah. So one of the things that I like to study is immortality and to look at uh, actual living biological species on our planet that are biologically immortal. Mm -hmm. And the question is, why is that the case? Uh, And how can human beings pick up some of these attributes? Mm -hmm. And one of the things that you find is that they have a perfect system of managing oxidative stress and managing inflammation so their cells don't ever get damaged like human beings. So uh, Eon was developed as a result of uh, what happens with a queen bee. So a queen bee is going to live 50 to 60 times longer than a worker bee. 
And this is all because of a specific peptide that's in the royal jelly that they consume. Uh. Uh, as it turns out, human beings produce this peptide in their liver, but it declines with age. So Eon will elevate this peptide, and as a result, it produces some very powerful um, elevation of antioxidants and very, very powerful uh, management of inflammation. So we see uh, C-reactive proteins, inflammatory cytokines, lipid peroxides, homocysteine, all these things, fibrinogen, all these things decrease, and that means uh, that the body can manage the inflammation and it doesn't hang around like it would with a uh, chronic disorder like arthritis. And is it kind of a de-stressing effect also? I mean, what would make that man stronger when he's thinking of something yeah. upsetting? So we had a doctor, uh, his name is Tom Budzinski, who did a neurological study for us uh, using a piece of equipment where he measured the response that Eon had in the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. Mm -hmm. So what we saw was that within seconds of applying the Eon patch, the uh, autonomic nervous system went into balance, which is exactly where you want it. Right. And uh, so, yes, very powerful uh, relaxation response mm -hmm. in the nervous system, but not to the point where you're subdued. Uh, we're still in that in-between state yeah. of fight and flight and relaxation which is exactly perfect for immune health. Oh, my. Okay, yeah. so with that precursor, when we come back from this break, David is going to be talking about the latest product from LifeWave called the X39. Sounds really sci-fi, doesn't it? <laughs> it's amazing. So we'll be right back. And I just realized that... Uh, when I'm talking into the microphone like this, I can't see this, so I'll... <laughs> oh, don't worry about it, because it's my job to okay. stay on top of Okay. <laughs> All right, live stream listeners, here comes the big bonus you've been waiting for. So if you're ready, David, we will... I'm, I'm ready. take one more sip of water. Okay. Oh, I think I'm going to wet down my face. <laughs> I hate that feeling like a little hair or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, you know. And you feel like it must be yeah. for everybody to see. Yeah. <laughs> nope, you can't see a thing. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back to Change It Up Radio with Paula Shaw. In studio with me today is David Schmidt of LifeWave. And we have been talking about this amazing LifeWave technology that David developed. And, but we have waited until this moment. So if you're just joining us, you're still just in time to hear about the latest product that's being released from LifeWave that is about age reversal. Yes, Dorian Gray and Benjamin Button, look out. <laughs> David Schmidt <laughs> is on the scene. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay, David, let's talk a little bit about this new product, the X. 39. Okay, let's All talk right. about it. <laughs> so X39 uh, is designed to do a number of things. Mm -hmm. uh, one, uh, its principal function is to activate the stem cells in the body and then reset those stem cells to a younger, healthier state. And what we've uncovered in our research about the effects on the human body are pretty remarkable. Mm -hmm. um, we might want to take a step back and uh, talk about what's led up to this. Yeah, I'd and love some, to know that. Yeah, some foundational research. Uh, first, uh, going back, let's say, about 20 years ago, uh, there's a very prominent scientist in the field of uh, anti-aging and even age reversal. His name is Dr. Bruce Ames at the University of California mm. in Berkeley. And uh, he's uh, published uh, many clinical studies on the subject of nutrition and how it relates to aging. And basically, what Dr. Ames has found is that there are certain nutrients that we can consume that uh, allow us to survive, but then you take them in higher doses, and they start to have rather remarkable effects on the cells. Mm. So some of his foundational work uh, that other scientists built off of was that certain nutrients like acetyl-L-carnitine and alpha-lipoic acid, uh, lipoic acid being an antioxidant. How uh, about vitamin C? Does that fall in that group, too? Uh, no. Well, no, actually, vitamin C can be an antagonist in oh. terms of longevity, which is a little... Not that's a, so good. 
Not so good. <laughs> it's you want to have enough to works. keep us healthy, but it can it can it can fight uh, it can fight your desire to live so longer. So massive dose is not a good idea necessarily. Depending on how you're using it, um, mm-hmm. if you're using it as an antiviral, antibacterial, right. it's fine. Um, and certain amounts daily are, are, are from my perspective, are good. Mm-hmm. But um, but on those two nutrients, um, what Dr. Ames discovered was that they could increase mitochondrial energy, and this, of course, is uh, regulates our metabolism, right? Mm-hmm. So how we uh, metabolize fat and carbohydrates and proteins. And what was significant is that he found in his animal studies and later in human studies that older cells could start behaving like younger, healthier cells. So this was uh, activating, you could say, a very specific part of the cycle that energy is made in the body. We go forward a number of years, and uh, Dr. David Sinclair at Harvard University made another discovery on a nutrient called um, NAD and NADH. There's a whole cycle uh, and and its precursor. And basically what he found was that when you activate this portion of the energy cycle, uh, something really special happens. The genes in the body are reset, and the cells start to become younger cells. And this is all to the point where you can't distinguish between an older cell that it was derived from and the younger cell. So yeah. I've been very I've been interested in this subject my entire life, and uh, the energy patches were uh, our first anti aging product in the sense that they boost up the energy metabolism and they get cells to start to behave like younger cells. Mm-hmm. But the X39 takes it to an entirely different level because it's actually resetting genes to a younger state, Mm. and we see some extraordinary benefits as a result. Yeah, so let's talk about those benefits. So you mentioned boosting energy. Right. Um, How about better sleep? Yeah, now sleep's kind of interesting. So uh, we're going to be doing the full reveal on this in January. But uh, we've done our traditional uh, blood, urine, saliva tests. We've also done a number of uh, bioelectrical tests with someone you know, Dr. Thornton Streeter. Uh, I do very well. (laughs) (laughs) And he's been fantastic. I know. I've been tempted to email Thornton and say, can you give me the inside scoop on the big reveal? But he won't. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's good. I'm glad I know I can trust Thornton. So, um, oh, I haven't done it. Yeah. You can trust me. <laughs> I've been tempted, I said, but I okay, haven't. <laughs> okay. Well, I know it would be tempting. So, uh, yeah, so we did, um, we're working with uh, Dr. Melinda Connor. And uh, so we did these basic uh, biochemical tests, and we were looking at the neurotransmitters in the brain. We're looking at how does the body process uh, amino acids with the X39. And basically, what we uh, uncovered is the neurochemical shift that occurs in the body with the X39 that allows people to have uh, longer sleep and deeper sleep. So it works really, really well. Mm. It's actually triggering the same mechanism that pharmaceutical drugs trigger to induce better sleep, but there's no side effects. Oh, Yeah, so you wake up refreshed. no drugs, right. No drugs. You wake up refreshed and and you don't feel drowsy. Perfect. Oh, I know a lot of people who need that. (laughs) And, and that's an important point, I think, David, about all your products. They don't contain chemicals, right? These, these patches actually have crystals in them. That's, and, and I had the interesting experience the other day. I held a patch up to the light, and it almost looked like a little circuit board in there. It was interesting to me because, you know, I, of course, I wonder how it works, but even if you explained to me, I'm sure I wouldn't understand it. Yeah. I know it does work, though. It's a nanotechnology product. Uh, So we create organic crystals, and we embed them into a fabric at the nanoscale. And uh, they tend to vibrate Mm -hmm. when they're exposed to body heat, and this causes them to act as an optical filter, which reflects very specific wavelengths of light. And when um, these wavelengths uh, strike the skin, they'll activate and stimulate nerves and then cause very specific bio... Say that. This is no fad. This is not woo-woo, even though I tend to lean in the woo-woo direction (laughs) in a lot of what I do. This is science. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think I'm an inventor maybe more than a scientist. I don't know. I'm confused on that point. 
But uh, I'll give you both. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm up uh, over 100 patents and patent applications oh at the moment. You're going to have to live a long time <laughs> to get all that I'm stuff I'm going to have to, yeah. <laughs> um, and, yeah, so I think I'm qualified as an inventor now at some point. And, uh, but, yeah, we've done over 80 clinical studies uh, at this point. And we do, again, the traditional blood, urine, saliva tests, the gold standards. Uh, we do different types of bioelectrical tests, uh, heart rate variability is one, um, electromyography, we've done those kind of studies. So we want to know, um, because we have an energy product, essentially, when we're triggering responses in the body with light, how does that change the neurological system? Mm -hmm. What type of uh, effects can we measure in the organs, in the muscles? Um, wh how does that affect the biochemistry? So we want to know about all these things on both of those levels. So I know we have been talking about age reversal, and at least we girls all think of one thing when we think of age reversal, and that is the wrinkles going away. Right. <laughs> Let's talk about that. Absolutely. Uh, so <coughs> the X39 patch is designed to activate stem cells, and this is, uh, this is really important because as we age, we did our studies, uh, by the way, um, big university, National University of Ireland in Galway, mm -hmm. and we had received funding uh, from the Irish government mm -hmm. uh, to do some of the pioneering work in this. And one of the things uh, when you get into stem cell medicine and science is that as people age, the uh, activity of their stem cells declines rather rapidly. So by the time we get over the age of 60, the activity is down at least 60%. So they don't move very well. They don't release growth factors as well. And this really shows up with people because they don't heal. Well, when you activate the stem cells, one of the things they do really well is make collagen. Mm -hmm. So as a practical matter, when people use the X39, uh, let's say for a period of 4 to 12 weeks, they're going to start to notice improvements in the quality of their skin. Now, uh, That's huge. It's huge, huge. Uh, and you can even improve upon the effect by doing, you know, doing certain things like making sure you're getting enough protein and healthy fats, uh, get proper nutrition, mm -hmm. get mild exercise, uh, make sure you're uh, getting enough minerals, like uh, all the minerals that are associated with regeneration, like magnesium is a big one, mm -hmm. zinc, copper, selenium. Uh, getting enough minerals uh, in your diet is like super important to mm. processing the proteins and the fats. I just bought a bottle of minerals the other day because yep. I know you say that. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And so another age reversing thing is just uh, ability to, like you were saying, to work out, to move better, to have that energy. And X39 helps with that as well, right? It does, yeah. Uh, one of the things we found with Dr. Streeter's study, and we'll release that data in January, which people will be really excited about. But basically what it shows is that the longer you use the X39, the better the effect. And one of the things that it will do is increase the energy capacity of the cell. So mm. uh, as a wow. result, this is going to have benefit for metabolism. And, of course, our ability to exercise is going to depend on how much energy mm. our cells can produce and how well they transport the energy. So X39 helps with that. So it's actually sort of making the cells younger rather than them aging as they do when naturally when we're growing older. So here's something that um, you can do is uh, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, there's, there's a specific peptide that the X39 will elevate. And let's say that we take uh, liver cells as an example. Mm -hmm. And you, take you know what, David? We have to go to a break, and I'm okay, on the edge I'll of my that. seat, and I know everybody else is. But we will be right back to find out about this secret, wonderful thing <laughs> that's part of staying young. We'll be right back with David Schmidt. All right, ready? I'm ready. I knew you were on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Change It Up Radio with Paula Shaw. We are talking about reversing aging today with David Schmidt the inventor and CEO and founder of LifeWave and LifeWave Technology. And he was just, we're talking about their latest patch called the X39. Here's what it looks like for the Facebook people. But we're talking about all the amazing things it does. So, David, go ahead with what you were just saying about sort of making cells younger. 
So the X39 is designed to elevate a specific peptide in the body. It's one of the things that occurs with it. And um, here's an interesting experiment is that you take uh, liver cells from someone that's older. Let's say um, th they're 80 years old, right? Mm -hmm. When there's virtually no stem cells activity left in the body, cells are not dividing anymore and making new cells. So this would be a good representation. You take those cells and now you treat them with the peptide that X39 is elevating. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that will happen is that cell will become physically younger. And you've seen, like in, in, in the science, they've seen that actually. Absolutely. Wow. And, and you can't distinguish between the older cell and the younger cell. Mm -hmm. And the way we don't want to make the age reversal claim because uh, the burden of that, we want to do telomere testing to substantiate age reversal. So mm -hmm. the way we refer to it today is we say the cells give the appearance oh, of having become young. I see. So we want to be careful with it. But at some point, we'll have enough clinical data we'll, where we'll be able to say definitively, yes, it's become mm -hmm. a younger cell. So today, the farthest that we go is we say it gives the appearance of being a younger cell, and it behaves like a younger cell. Mm -hmm. So um, as another example, something that we found in um, a clinical study that we did is on the vascular system. Mm -hmm. And as you know, I did a webinar on this yesterday. Very exciting. <laughs> and uh, what we actually uh, showed with this is you can measure the speed at which blood flows through the arteries. And the faster the blood will flow, uh, that would indicate that the arteries have become stiffer, which means they're older. So you want your arteries to be flexible. Oh. And um, what we found, and you, you compare all of this uh, data uh, to a huge database of people, and you can get a mean, a statistical mean. So you say, okay, if the blood flows at a certain rate, then we correlate that with a certain age. And then you can know, is someone biologically older or younger mm -hmm. than their real age? Right. Well, anyway, what we found was that, and what was remarkable is that this only occurred in six weeks of using X39, that the cardiovascular system was performing as if it was two years younger. With only six weeks of using the patch? Only six weeks. Wow. So That's we were blown amazing. away. And didn't yeah. you say that what you're also finding, what Thornton's finding, is that the longer you use the patch, the more profound the result. Yeah, correct? that that actually also was a pleasant surprise to confirm mm -hmm. that that's what was going on. So essentially, we saw uh, results. Uh, let's say you got 50% of your results mm -hmm. in the test in three weeks and 100% after six weeks, and it was a six-week test. So the question then is, okay, we go beyond six weeks, you would think that the results continue to get better and better, mm -hmm. uh, which would make sense from our perspective. You know, eventually levels Absolutely, off. absolutely. Yeah. And one of the areas that I, I don't know if you were expecting it when you first developed the patch, but that everybody's talking about is pain reduction. Yeah. And I have a little story of my own, and I'll show you after we're done with this show. Okay. <laughs> the toe. But I was going away, and I accidentally dropped the suitcase on my middle toe, and it hurt badly very badly and I put a little ice on it but I you know I had to leave at three in the morning and I needed to try and get some sleep so I I went I'm putting an x39 on I put it right on my toe and I'm telling you the next day when I well that night at three when I woke up there was no pain it felt odd it felt kind of odd but it was not painful it puffed up a bit it was even a little purpley the first couple of days but by the second day, I walked up 8,500 feet. Oh, my God. Yeah, I hiked, <laughs> and I had no pain. I kept that patch on the whole time, yeah. you know, <laughs> but it was amazing to me. We actually had a politician from Italy that was on our webinar yesterday. We had 900, over 900 people on our webinar, yes. thereabouts. And, uh, yeah, he had said he sent in a testimonial, and he said, you know, I'd never experienced the power of anything like X39 before. I'd been suffering with sciatic nerve pain. I applied an X39, and uh, in 30 seconds, the pain was gone. So uh, X39 works very differently than Ice Wave uh, in terms of pain management. And we've also gotten pain-relieving effects from Eon and glutathione because they also manage inflammation. Uh -huh. X39 is different because it actually um, triggers six different uh, pain-relieving pathways in the body. Mm -hmm. So that's why it ends up being more powerful 
than Ice Wave or the other product. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of exciting things coming up with Life Wave, and I want you to be able to talk about all those. But uh, are there any other aspects? Well, oh, yeah, how about hair growth with X39? People are starting to see that, right? They are. It's anecdotal at this point. So mm -hmm. we get people that report it, uh, and we haven't done any clinical studies on it. But in theory, um, what clinical, I shouldn't say in theory, what clinical research shows is that when you activate the stem cells in the skin, result you get new hair follicles, and then you get hair growth. So mm -hmm. uh, some people definitely see the effect. Some people don't. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're trying to understand, uh, you know, why would that be? Yeah. And how can we optimize it? Yeah, because that's a biggie. That's a biggie. <laughs> a lot yeah. of people will line up for that one. That's definitely a big one. <laughs> a big portion of the male population, too. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And so it's stem cells were really behind hair growth. Is that correct? Uh, they would be, yeah. Mm. Um, so there would be peptides that are found in the skin, which are part of the wound healing effect mm -hmm. and also in terms of hair growth. So once they're activated and triggered, uh, then the stem cells will go about and repair things. And if there's no Lots hair follicles there, you can get new ones. Ah, uh, wow. Yeah. It's a little bit more complicated than that. <laughs> that's, that's the gist. But that it. sounds pretty darn good. Absolutely. So any other aspects about the X39 you want to talk about before we talk about the big event in January? Well, there's a whole lot. I'd say <laughs> if people want to learn more, they should go to the website. Uh, Definitely. There are a couple websites we have. One is LifeWaveX39.com, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, they should get on some webinars and uh, get into some of the details about it and go to one of our events and learn a lot more. Yes. And, and a big event that's coming up in January, January 17th, right? Uh, January 19th. 19th. Uh, yeah, the weekend of the 19th in uh, Austria. Uh, we also have a big one that's going to come up on March 30th in mm -hmm. the United States. Right. Yeah. So, and at the one in January, there's still one other major discovery that the X39 is, is um, oh, what's the word I want? A result that it's um, show, that's showing up in people who are using it. You're going to talk about in January, but we can't talk you into a sneak peek now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess what I would say about that is what really is surprising to people is we've only revealed about 5% of what the X39 wow. can do, uh, which is really shocking to people because you say, okay, you're talking about activating stem cells mm -hmm. and showing the appearance of age reversal. What else could be bigger than that? Right. And there actually is something bigger than that, uh, and mm -hmm. there's – uh, there's a lot to it. So we're going to be revealing that on the 19th of January in uh, Austria. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm now, really will excited. this be online? Will people here be able to be part of that? So we're going to videotape it, and we will uh, broadcast it oh. after the live event. So, okay, yes, good. we'll make that available. So we'll all have a chance to find out what the other amazing <laughs> secrets are. Absolutely. <laughs> Unless I can hold a gun to Thornton Streeter's head in the meantime. Uh, he wouldn't know at this point. I'm, I'm, oh. I'm holding back on that secret myself. Oh, so, my yeah, I'm, goodness. I'm tight-lipped on yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> Very exciting stuff. And I want to say to my listeners that truly I, I was very serious. I have been using these products for over a year um, with amazing results. I've got my mom and my dad and my sister and my children using them, and I would not be doing that if they weren't really amazing and, and drug-free. So I can recommend them to my clients who might be taking depression meds or something else without any worry because there's no chemical interaction that I have to worry about, and that's huge for me. So I also want to say to the listeners, I have a website because I'm a member of the LifeWave community. And if you have questions or you want to reach me, you can go to LifeWave.com forward slash safe health. LifeWave.com forward slash safe health. And as David mentioned, there is also, now that site talks about all the LifeWave or LifeWave products. There is a special one that's just about this patch we've been talking about whoops, <laughs> so much today, the X39, which is the one that is the major leader heading people in the direction of age reversal. Right. So, wow. So, David Schmidt, I am so thrilled that you were here today, and I'm so delighted that you're on the planet and that you're doing what you're doing. And I thank you with all my heart, and I look forward to more because we've barely scratched the surface. I had 
I had two pages of things <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about we yeah, haven't gotten to yet. Yeah, we did, we did the overview. There's I probably know. a couple hours more. Yeah, yeah, so you've got to come back. Absolutely. Time and time again. Yep, be happy to. All right, I yeah. would love that. Thank you. And thank you. And thank you to our listeners. Remember that you can hear us here on AM 1170 or 96.1 FM on Sunday nights at 9 o'clock. We are on every major podcast platform. We're on iHeartRadio and Blog Talk. There are so many places to find us. So please do, and please remember to check out our Change It Up Radio Facebook page, our Change It Up Radio Instagram page, and the Paula Shaw Facebook pages as well. We look forward to seeing you very soon, and we want to wish everyone just the most beautiful and glorious of holidays. And David, thank you so much for making my holiday even better. Thank you, Paula. Great to be here. Thank you. And we'll see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Ooh, and we start. All right. Fantastic. Stop the live stream. All right. Sounds good. So thank you all, live stream listeners, for being with us. I told you he was amazing, didn't I? And he is the smartest man on the planet. (laughs) 